She's done, my lord. My lord. My lord. That was not done. <laughs> Alright. Oh. So. I don't exist. You, you don't- you, you're on the porch, you do exist. Am I? I don't see me. I also don't see... What? I also River don't is, see her. River has just invented the next level of the gargoyle technology. Daddy, She's I want to be invisible, invisible. Daddy. <laughs> I don't want oh. to exist, Daddy. I made Wonderful. the stealth boy. Wonderful news, everyone. I have unlocked quantum tunneling. <laughs> That's amazing. <Damn. laughs> I want all of her discoveries to be said in that nice, calm voice, like nothing new has changed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let me try and relocate River. We've Since banished her to the Shadow Realm. Oh, she is in the Shadow Realm. I'm sorry. There she <laughs> <laughs> I do exist. <laughs> she was amongst the Void Tenders. <laughs> oh, man. We haven't heard from them in a while. Yeah. Good. It's better that way. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Do you want to hear from them? Uh. <laughs> mm. Ooh, I'm enjoying that title for season three. Yeah, I am. Um, okay. Just... So, uh, what has happened in the past few days? So, obviously, shit has gone down. Everyone is still coping in their own separate ways over what happened. And it's, uh, for those who I've talked about for the times, we are ch uh, at a changing that a little bit, so it has been a couple days, okay? Uh, you know who you are. And it has been a couple days, and everyone's had time uh, to decompress to uh, kind of take care of themselves to their best ability. In the meantime, you, uh, you all uh, can go ahead and roll a perception for me, please. Uh, yes, it wouldn't be rural without horrible no. dice rolls. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, everyone. Is that a sign of a good session? <laughs> mm -hmm. In the right, GM's uh, eyes, yeah. Oh, everyone, no. get right, get fucking rolling, you fool. Ah, River, you and I shall rule the world. <laughs> That lemons shall rule you. Nack, did you re-roll for oh, your eyes? Oh yeah, shit. I forget to do that. Slink back into my cave. You can have it, lemons. <laughs> hey. Alright. Pipe out your successes, please. Domo, uh, everything's been pretty normal. You haven't noticed a change. Uh, what have you been spending your free time doing? Uh, you haven't <clears throat> had a lot of but Uh, I guess just checking up on people. Um, both in the base and out of the base. Just, like, going around, seeing if anybody needs help, and various things like that. Is there anything gotcha. you can do to help people? All right. Henderson, you've been spending most of your time at your home, uh, on which Hawthorne has been around. Uh, he has been going outside a little bit more, not like in the woods or anything, but just being more active, which is good. Yeah. Um, there's a snowman in your yard now. Oh, yeah. Henderson wanted to go yell at them. That's right. <laughs> Did you say he wanted to yell at them? Yeah, what lemons, yes. Yeah. <laughs> ah, lovely. We, uh, we can, if you two would like to do a separate RP for that, please do. Yes. Uh, yell at each other. Uh, but nonetheless, everything seems... So, summing it up, he's telling lemons not to treat his, his home like he can come and go freely. And the yeah, has to ask to go down to his basement and go talk to my son and go further to go to the Guardians. <laughs> All right. How does Lemons respond and, to this? And and well, not he didn't really encourage him to go to the party. That wasn't the deal. It was. You're, you're very quiet. Come back to us. 
Yeah. He's super upset that Lemons just broke Theo. Like, he's like, that's my job and you have no right to, you know, <laughs> talk Tell to my, my son, son about death. Right? So. All right. Probably get uh, the equivalent of an uwu, but we'll see with the roleplay. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's been, uh, for the most part, business as business can be. Uh, things have been a little quiet between you and Hawthorne. Uh, let's see here. Sal and River. This one makes sense. So, River? Sal? Mm -hmm. Both of you have been in the Cardian space. River, you are generally in the basement. Um, have you set up your cameras yet? Uh, have I been able to install them? Uh, it depends. Were you immediately going for it? Because if she was going to set up cameras, now is the time. I do it. All right. Uh, we'll go over what Lemons notices in a second here. But, River, you now have sight on the entire house. Magnificent. And... While you are doing that, and similarly, uh, Sal, while you are just uh, coming and going, visiting with Jason, uh, both of you notice uh, Yao has been operating things pretty consistently like a well-oiled machine, while you are all uh, have been placed on momentary uh, leave, and by that as in a small uh, recovery period. There have been faces you don't recognize coming through. Um, gentlemen with nice suits and sunglasses. And often, Yao speaks with them, and they leave for several hours before returning. Uh, this happens several times a day. Uh, you notice that Yao has meetings with them, Aisha talks with them. Uh, it's a pretty current thing. Uh, yeah. Strangely enough, though, it's it's done in such a way where if you weren't keeping an eye out for it, you wouldn't have noticed because they're not making a big spectacle of it. But they're not really keeping a secret either. It's just they're doing their own thing. Uh, and so you notice that. Lemons, there's cameras in your room. <laughs> and then you were oh. like, what? And you found then you found cameras in the hallway. And then you found cameras in uh wait where was natalie's i didn't see nat's roll she had a three three total sorry uh natalie you do notice pretty much uh the same thing as sal and river um but to the extent of you notice that there were people coming and going her okay um Aww. but sal and river both you were able to catch pins um, you can definitely tell that they are part of Cardians. And uh, most of the pins you've seen come through our clubs. I am so tempted to just blow a kiss to one of the cameras. And do like the uh, little finger wave. And then uh, additionally for the fours, you're able to catch as you're looking at these people go. They are generally rank 10 or above. Dang. So, uh, then do, do, do. Lemons, you notice there are cameras around the base now. Everywhere. Like, there's. Are there any rooms that don't have them? I don't. River, where'd you put them? Please list. Oh, wherever I can <laughs> you sneak into. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm, I'm, gonna need you to, rooms. I'm gonna need you to roll a dex stealth to be able to put them in people's rooms. Alright. <laughs> I will uh, do this, actually. You will need to do this individually for each room. So. Uh, can, can she try to keep an eye on people's schedules? Like, I feel like uh, Henderson would be the easiest. <laughs> I mean, it's not really his room anymore. Fair, that's fair. He's Henderson's room but she wants to put it in there. Alright. <laughs> that one you don't need one for. So vacated room, she'll slip it in easy. <laughs> okay. Uh, and she's probably, um, how, much, how much time has passed? It has been days. three days. Over the last two days, could she have monitored uh, people's daily schedules? I will allow you to roll an intelligence investigation. I need more investigation. 
I'm gonna just uh, casually put a willpower in. <laughs> okay, make sure you mark it off. Or... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you get a plus one roll for your spell. Plus one die. Am I making a separate uh, notice roll? No. Y you notice that there are cameras. Alright, this one's in Lemon's room. <laughs> Alright. Uh, keep rolling. Alright, Sal. Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> Holy cow! Keep going. Uh, she's gonna put one in Theo's too, just okay. cause. You don't need to put, She one. put one in all the empty room, rooms. I'm not sure how many there are. There are three. However, you do know, uh, one of them you're gonna have to roll for though, cause you see, uh, a couple of the suited men coming in and out of that room. Uh, at the end of the hall. Alright, four. Alright, uh... You're able to get in there, and you notice that the bed has been removed from the room, and it has been swapped for a couch and a chair, and a hmm. new carpet. Oh, probably the new therapy. Well, there's definitely a camera going in here. <laughs> oh my god, River, no. <laughs> Alright, you place a camera. <laughs> oh wait, I'm plus one, aren't I? Forgot mm -hmm. about that. Uh, Tomo. Nat. Who else is there? There's Chaney. Mm-hmm. Chaney. Yeah, we'll do a Chaney. She probably catches me. <laughs> you later find that the uh, camera is static for Chaney's okay. room. You did find it. <laughs> nice. Uh, who else stays here? Uh, it's pretty much it. There's the infirmary. Oh, Theoretically, okay. Carly when she returns. Alright, there's one in the infirmary as well. <laughs> Alright. You, uh, you ooh, do ooh, so. One more, one more. Alright. How often is Yao in that office? He's ooh. generally in that office. <laughs> I'll come back for it. There's the library. I mean, I doubt he's there at night. He is not Tell in there at night. Though. He ooh. has a separate place of residency. At night. The one oh, roll you no. fucking failed. That's All the right. worst one I've had. Uh, River. <laughs> yes. The next day, uh, you do this on second night. On the third day, you are called into the office. <laughs> Good job, River. You had one job. Damn. <laughs> Please move your character into the office. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the office. I know. There you go. Uh, River, you, you, uh, Aisha calls you over and you follow her into the office and you see Yao sitting there staring at you. <laughs> and, uh, go ahead. Would you like to roll an empathy? Not really. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> Allow me to change the music. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one moment, please. All right, River. So, you are called in the office. And uh, on the desk, there is not one camera, but two. Ah, they got another one. <laughs> the, the therapy one, probably. Uh, could she have labeled the cameras? Not sure. label, but just like put a, a number and a letter. Mm -hmm. Just so she can identify it. Yeah. Can't you tell what the other one is? Uh, you can tell that that is in fact the therapy room. Yep. <laughs> Dang, I did a good job with that one. 
Miss Hathaway. Yes, sir? Throughout the several days since your return, we have noticed you placing cameras around the premises. It's purely for study. Well, that is understandable. You can do your study through non-private areas. That's when people are the most honest. It is also against their personal interest. Fair enough. You are to remove the cameras from the other rooms. Understood. If, if you are able to get written consent, we will allow you to put them back. May I ask for an exception? He stares at you, but he hasn't said anything. So. One of our members has a curious case going on with him. Lemons, you've read his file? Yes. Might I keep my camera in that room? You may, but he must be aware of it. Fine. He <laughs> nods. He slides the cameras back across the uh, table to you. We will not have another incident of this. Of course. I have good ears, I can hear the first time. He <laughs> gives you a look at that. Uh, <laughs> you roll res cop for me, please, River. <laughs> what? <laughs> he, he eyes you. And there is a, uh, there is a darkness there. <laughs> <laughs> you are familiar with a stare down. Yep. You are familiar uh, with that look of someone looking at you like you've disappointed them, and for a moment the words "diddy" flash before <laughs> for you. For a moment, <laughs> disinheritance comes. Yeah. In. <laughs> and the and the uh, hairs at the back of your neck bristle. I meant I would understand. You will. Have a good day. You as well. Thank you for your time. <laughs> I should... <laughs> Smiles and puts a hand on your shoulder and walks you back to the lab and when she gets you back to the lab, she's like, I understand the idea behind it and I can speak with Yao regarding the placement of the cameras, there might be a way around it. Uh, or at least writing up an agreement for lemons. And I would, of course, open up that you may place a camera in my lab. If you'd like to keep surveillance there. But uh, they're not in, they are in the lab. Those who are doing arrows. <laughs> um, that could work. Uh, so long as we have surveillance as well, I believe you could probably circumvent the, I suppose, the ethical <laughs> problem here. Uh, but everyone needs to be aware of it, so that we're not causing any stress where there's already stress. Of course. I, I'm sure you understand. I, I spoke with him already, so... It's, it's not that big of a problem. You're not in a large amount of trouble. Just do be careful, please. Oh, so it's just a thought. Keep an eye on things since we've seen monsters come in every which way. Oh, understandably, which is why, honestly, he he saw the cameras uh, placed in the hallway first and had no problem with it. You'll have to excuse me. I'm not very used to privacy yet. Oh, I know. 
<laughs> she smiles. But nonetheless, we'll speak with the others to see what they, uh, if they're all, all right with it. As you wish. All right. Thank you. And she heads out. <laughs> she goes to Mana during the one she has set up. <laughs> With a notepad. <laughs> All right. Um, they have. They never found a camera in Sal's room. So, <laughs> if you want to keep that one there, you can, because your stealth roll was so high. <laughs> of course, that's staying in there. <laughs> Did they give her a list of the ones she had to remove? Yeah, she'll follow the list, and that's it. All right. Let me check your stealth rolls again. You had a six for lemons, was it? I had a. Oh, I know. I. I, th I think I had a. Was it a six for the infirmary? Yes. You. Ha um. They're not forcing you to remove infirmary anyway. Okay. Good. It's just literally just the other people's bed. I think. I think. Sal was the seven. Yeah. I like so how they... you yeah. are. You are in in written in triplicate. You receive uh, a prompt to get rid of the <laughs> the cameras in Natalie. Tomo, Lemons, and the, those three, uh, their rooms. I like how the cameras are in there and they're like, eh, she just didn't put one in Sal's room. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where you hid it, that it was hid so well. <laughs> you are the bed. At home, under your mattress. The uh, Henderson and Theo rooms are vacant at the moment, so they are allowing the cameras to stay there. All right. I'm most disappointed about the therapy one. <laughs> Alas, poor York. Whoever puts a tiny stomp on the floor for that one. <laughs> you do it. You don't feel any better. Oh, oh, she wants to set one up like a GoPro on the dog as well. <laughs> God. Yes. The dog now has a GoPro, guys. <laughs> I love it so much. Anyone who sees Romulus sees some, that he is in fact carrying a camera. He is now River's eyes. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Alright. And then, uh... Who was it that got the crit? Was that... That was Lemons. Myself. Oh, okay. Lemons noticed uh, there was only a four for the cameras in his room, and the... You had a five on the original perception, though. Yeah. So, you notice, uh, all of what everyone else has noticed, you notice the ranks, all of that. Uh, but then you also, uh, over here, as you are kind of mm. doing your lemony thing, that, A, the training room upstairs is in use, in the attic, uh, as um, mentioned. Uh, River, did you put a camera there? Yes. <laughs> okay, there's a camera in the training room. Um, but also, you hear uh, Yao talking with these other men every now and then. Often he is speaking in Japanese when he does uh, speak with them. But you have caught uh, wind a couple times uh, that. Just by Japanese. Um, You've caught a couple times that they were being sent out into the woods. Can I figure out, like, where in the woods? Uh... Yeah, uh, it's, it sounds like what essentially is being done is that they're being sent out to kill the remaining hedge beasts that are still about. Okay, that's not a problem. Making sure they're not going after Omega, that's all. And that's what you notice. And so, on uh, the third day, you all are called into a meeting. By whom? Uh, Aisha. And so, go ahead and move yourselves. Cheney is not present. 
Everyone sees uh, Romulus in his GoPro. <laughs> Can I give a second attempt to giving yell my chair? <laughs> Uh, go ahead. Uh, I don't want to <laughs> Go ahead and roll your presence and your rank. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay. You fucking fail this again. That was, yeah, because I think I put, uh, risk on it. It's like a lot of dice, too. <laughs> I want to use my willpower. First willpower of season three. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I, that's what I was asking you about earlier with health. It sounds like mega dead. Can I like? <laughs> <laughs> what? He has like no health. He's full, you. You like, all. Your health is restored. Everyone's okay. Health I was like, he's like full lethal. <laughs> no, everyone. You guys have had time to rest. Okay. I I would like to do the you thing. You have a house full of doctors. You're good. What a fucking waste. It's fine. I'm not mad. <laughs> will, will power. Will power. Uh, yeah, nightmare kids. Wait, who gets my nightmare child? <laughs> You didn't do the exclamation point, so just re-roll your 10. Oh, okay, he thank you. He has the exclamation point there. Oh, I do, yeah. Oh, oh okay, okay. Uh, how do you all go about this, Sal? I hate you. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, in the most respectful way possible, he gives Sal- he gives- he gives Yala the- This is, uh, here. Take the chair, your rank is higher than me, and I'm sorry for last time. <laughs> But it's all in his eyes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> not sat down in the chair. Yala, uh, Yala yeah, looks well, back at you as Sal you walk by to the. I was gonna say Sal's presumably already sitting down when everyone came in. That's why. Uh, Yala yeah, looks back at you through the corner of his eye. I'm gonna need you to roll in empathy. Okay. And uh, an intelligence empathy. That rude. <laughs> <laughs> this is very rude of you to make. Fine, I'll allow a wits. Thank you. <laughs> uh. Is my specialty in kids? I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, you uh, you look into his eyes, <sighs> the dark brown, and you are able to make out the idea, the the, the nonverbal communication of <laughs> keep your chair. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it a how dare you, or is it it's fine? <laughs> It's fine. Okay, I'll take it. Sweats. <laughs> you you don't know if you you don't feel forgiven, but you don't feel disgrace. Okay, good middle ground. <laughs> it feels like you've gone nowhere, but you know what? Nowhere's better than down. Yeah, exactly. And he he heads and stands not near Aisha. And Aisha smiles. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so. I hope you're feeling well, uh, as far as what's possible. We wanted to let everyone know that there's going to be a few new developments starting today. Uh, we want to be able to get you back on the field as soon as possible, but we want you to be in a safe mental state before we do so. We understand that these last few days have been extremely stressful uh, on everyone. And so, courtesy of Miss Lee, we are going to be having therapy sessions for every uh, person. Lemons, you're trying to slowly audi up? <laughs> Is he sneaking up the stairs? <laughs> he just took one step. <laughs> uh, Lemons, what's your defense? <laughs> what the hell? What's happening? I think Danny's gonna suplex him. <laughs> Danny's gonna fuck up the shit out of him. Oh what's my what's God. your defense, Lucky. Lemons? It's three. <laughs> okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> You're gonna fucking die, Lemon. Yeah, it's gonna fucking shoot me or something. <laughs> <laughs> I shine as he shoots you through the fucking <laughs> tendon. <laughs> fucking. The mere mention of it pleasantly, pleasantly just looks over and then just glares at you, and you feel <laughs> dead inside. All right, lemons. Yeah. Oh my god. One second. Okay. Uh, as you're getting up, Danny yawns and puts <laughs> one arm around you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I feel emotionally love shot. <laughs> <laughs> He'll sit back down again.
<laughs> she quietly says, Hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, it's peachy. You come here often? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> I'm gonna sparkle at her, damn it. If she's gonna do this at me. You're gonna sparkle at her? Yeah, she, she asked me if I came here often. I'm gonna say all the time with a wink and it's gonna be the most sparkly thing ever. Okay. Roll. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, what do you think? Presence what? Oh, that's uh, it's, that's your normal sparkle roll, so I believe that was your presence uh, persuasion, wasn't it? Okay, um, here we go. Sparkle time. Three. Alright, you roll for resolve composure. <laughs> she just gives this big, wide smile. <laughs> just like, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> as quietly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> know how to make a girl blush, <laughs> Mr. Lemons. <laughs> <laughs> and then Aisha, uh, Aisha gives her a side look of no talking during meeting, and she be <laughs> she gets quiet. <laughs> Amazing. The therapy will be. Individual, uh, one at a time, throughout the day. If you all have a preference of order, feel free to sign up. And she actually pushes forward a notepad. Sal grabs the notepad. <laughs> all right, Sal, you now have the notepad. He puts his name first. <laughs> Sal is now first. Sal's the kind of kid who does his presentation first to get it over with. <laughs> uh, Jason reaches blindly in front of him. Sal gives it to him after slapping his hand about with it a bit. <laughs> Jason smiles, and then he's like, can you write my name? As he hands the pen back to you. He takes it. And uh, Sal will be like, next, under me, or when? Uh, surprise me, dude. All right, I'll surprise you. What's your favorite number? <laughs> Between one and ten. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh... Go, now, pick, choose. Uh... Danny, Danny cups her hands. It's five! Alright, five it is. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> Shoot, I don't want five. Nope, too late. It's your fault. He hits him on the head with the notepad. It's been ten. Too late. Number three, my lord. Writes down five. <laughs> Give, um, mm -hmm. I will wave it around looking for someone else who wants to take it. You feel an arm pass your shoulder and pick up the pad. Alright, he gets <laughs> you. Sal so so gives him the <laughs> pen, too. Okay. You see him jot some, something down in the order, and then he hands it over to Henderson. What do you write? <laughs> uh, he has put himself down at the bottom with two little asterisks and a when available. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want this to actually be drawn out when we're done, because it's going to be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Henderson is going to go middle. Not first, not last. Just in the middle do you, where no do one you, will uh, Do you put yourself as a number or just in between Sal and Jason? Uh, well, Jason's like five and Sal is first, right? Yes. Yeah. So he'll go right after Jason. Okay, so he's putting himself at six. Okay. And he'll hand it to Toad. Well, we should pick a direction and stick with it. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll put himself at three. Fuck it. Get it over with. My man. My man. <laughs> Romulus senses he's too far from River and tries to go under the table, but his GoPro hits and he has to stop and go around. <laughs> uh, I, I give him pets on his way. You give him pets and he's a happy boy. I was expecting, since you passed it to Jason, it would go in the opposite direction, and then Henderson would have no choice where he went. Helling saved you the pain. <laughs> then, uh, Tomo will pass it over to River, because it's easy. She's right next to him. Uh, okay. The River's petting dog. She'll take and fill herself before. 
and pass it to Lalo with a big smile. <laughs> Lalo uh, has a his traditional Lalo smile as he takes it. His wide, eyes are slightly wider than usual. <laughs> and you see as he he grips the paper with both hands and looks down at it. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Can I give him? Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry. No, go ahead. I was just gonna say, can I just give him a sign to write to? <laughs> uh, oh you may God. use you may use your presence expression to try and okay. <laughs> invoke two upon Lalo. God damn it! <laughs> two fingers. Yeah, it's just two fingers. It's not a presence expression. It's not a secret. <laughs> okay, well you could hold up two fingers towards Lalo. Okay, that yeah. <laughs> Lelo, uh, smiles. You know, it, it's slightly more toothy. And he's just like. <laughs> Wait. His mouth is no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he Sour. puts it down at eight. Oh my god. I'll give him a concerned eyebrow raise at that, but that's about it. <laughs> he's still smiling and he gives the uh, paper back to Aisha. <laughs> and Aisha's looking at him like, oh, my son. <laughs> uh, she she passes it over to Abner. Abner looks at it, puffs a cigarette, and hands it to, <laughs> hands it over to uh, Baron, Schmidt. Baron Schmidt without even putting anything <laughs> down. <laughs> Both Aisha and, and Rayfield just passed it over. They're like, whenever. <laughs> Well, I think Baron uh, Rayfield doesn't think it applies to him. He's the most sane man <laughs> he here. really is. Yeah, the rest of you crazies need a therapist. He doesn't. <laughs> Baron Schmidt takes it and politely puts himself as number two because someone needs to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, he gives it over to you, Natalie. Nat, Nat looks and like she is about to write number to herself at number two, but then it's like, oh shit. Uh. <laughs> uh, Baron Schmidt raised, he kind of perks up and he, he's like, oh, were, did you want number two? Uh, uh, I can go later. It's all right. It, it's fine. Are you sure? Puts, puts herself in number four and just like um, heads on over to like lemons. Damn. <laughs> You, oh, you get some weekly four. paper. Yeah, what is it for? Uh, the fuck? Really Natalie, you thing. didn't note you forgot River wrote down four. Natalie's now also four. <laughs> I guess no. it's your <laughs> no, no, you're forgetful. That's what you get. No. You she wouldn't have even known, Pass right? it over. Pass it no. <laughs> <laughs> she will not. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's no. too Come sit no, through my no. tragic life story, Nat. No, <laughs> no there are private matters. I'm sorry. It all began when I was born. <laughs> when I got Allie, money. Allie wants to do girl talk. It's not fair. I was conceived on a cold December night. <laughs> Daddy, I don't want to be born. It's too cold. <laughs> no, she wasn't born. She was conceived. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Daddy, I don't want to be. I love making the most dispassionate, just like my parents' marriage. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you forgot what is available? Wrote down number What's four, fun? and her text was so microscopic anyway that you didn't realize. <laughs> she is wearing a monocular at all times. I was gonna say I imagine never wrote number four, but she put it at like the bottom or something. Sure, sure. Let's do the. I've been keeping track. All right. Uh, so, Danny takes it. Mm -hmm. And uh, she stops for a second and stares at number four. <laughs> <laughs> and she lo slowly looks at you, Lemons, and you watch as she makes unwieldy, uh, or, uh, unyielding eye contact as she also puts her down, self down <laughs> as number four. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a madhouse. <laughs> fucking Pleasant just calls everybody in and then there's just three people in their fucking uh -huh. eyes. <laughs> That's amazing. Denny? What are you doing, Denny? So he gets it? Yeah. Okay. And when he gets it, he turns the paper over and writes a little name on the back. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? No, it's his name, but it's small. You, you do it, and uh, do, you, do you give the paper back to Danny? 
<laughs> he will number it as well. <laughs> what is what the number? Um, how many people are in this room? The last one. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, we'll gun for... Shit, how many people are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. He'll put himself as, uh, 18. 18? <laughs> or 17, sorry. I'm sure Pleasant wouldn't be doing a therapy session on herself. Alright, you, you do so. Uh, and Danny <laughs> looks at it, and she passes it back to Pleasant. And you watch as Pleasant looks over this fuck of a list. <laughs> <laughs> and you watch as she takes the pen, and she looks like a sweet old lady as she turns it over to see yours, Lemons, and she crosses out the one in front of the seven. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Excellent. Power move. <laughs> <laughs> the power play. <laughs> All right. I need to remember how to do Pleasant's voice again in a moment. I got a mute quick, I'll be right back. <laughs> all I have to go find her. Yeah, I thought that she was crossing out the seven. I know, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> <laughs> she not Alright, things are very well. Sal, if I could talk to you upstairs then. Are you alright with going right over Ray, or do you want some time? Uh, it's, wait, is that it? Is that the, the whole meeting? Hmm? Is that the whole meeting? That's what he said. Uh, just to clarify. It'll be after the meeting. Uh, that is all. Yeah, well, what time is it? Uh, at this time, it would be about 12. Mm, I haven't had lunch yet. <laughs> Can I do it after lunch? Of course. Right. <laughs> That's it. And... <laughs> You just hear Gal from uh, the other side of the room. The therapy sessions will begin at 12.30 on the dot. <laughs> Pleasant nods in this direction. Okay, that does not give me a lot of time for lunch. <laughs> you have a 30 minute break. <laughs> Sal jumps uh, over the table. <laughs> I should. Not, not that that is handled. Uh, furthermore, we, uh, we've we been working on uh, make continuing missions while uh, the primary team is recovering yourselves. Uh, if you will, Mr. Gao. Thank you, Aisha. Ah, I slipped there. Uh, <laughs> a lot of voices. It's so many voices. Okay. Uh, you have dispatched a team to work on getting rid of the mm, remainder of the Edge Beasts. They will be here for several weeks so that we can get this done. Once you are all recovered and ready to be back for missions, you will be sent out on a separate occasion. We need to keep an eye around the perimeter to see if any of those who were in the Fey Realm are returned. Those who are going to hunt the Edge Beast are currently going to be doing this, but we will need additional help as they will recognize you more than they will my men. We will need to bring them back here and speak with them about the supernatural. They will have a choice whether they wish to join or not, or if there will be an ulterior way of going about it. I've been speaking with Miss Lefleur, and we may have another option. Once we look more into that, we will update you. I have also printed, and he places down, a, uh, one second, I'm thinking out of character, what it is, a, an itinerary for this. 
We are anticipating that you will all be back on the field, hopefully, within the next two days. If it takes more time, we've allotted for it. But we don't know how long it will be until the other missing persons begin to return to town or what state they will be in. I would like you to sign to show that you have read it when you have and report back to me. Understood? Nod. Also nod. In the meantime, if you have any questions, feel free to report to your aces. Over time, I will be less present here in the office, but I will be able to hear your concerns or questions. And that is about it for the meeting today. If you need anything else, please do let us know. But, um, but there is one thing that isn't exactly business matters. We would like to have a proper funeral for Theodore. We wanted to see what you all thought before we did so. Sorry, what you just said? We wanted to th- see what you all thought before we did so. Who do you? I, I apologize, I didn't hear that. The you do you. Everyone else? Well, I didn't know him very well. And by that, I mean got to hang out a little bit, but I think if anyone, he deserves a spot in the ground of honor. Is that what you call a graveyard? I don't I don't want to call it a graveyard, okay? <laughs> Look, if it'll help people, you know, funerals are, are good, I guess. It's the least we can do. Jason chimes in. He... He he doesn't deserve to be forgotten. You know. Maybe we could put... There's like a line of cardians there, isn't there? Maybe we could put it there. But... I mean... Seems the most appropriate given the current circumstances, I guess. Looks to everyone else like, uh. <laughs> but I don't know what you want me to say. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like. Ab- Abner puffs smoke. Uh, you, you don't want uh, to be back in Boston with peace. I can't, I'm, I, I can't hear you, I'm sorry. Okay, you have a lot of background, boys. Let me try switching to my phone, it's low on battery. Where's some peace, Inky. Ah, sad. This is actually Inky's funeral. Sad. Oh no! <laughs> Rest oh, no. Inky peace, uh, uh, kill me. I mean, uh, after that shit. Good attempt. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be on my phone for as long as it's battery less. Okay, well, it sounds better, so go it ahead. It sounds a lot yeah. better. Yeah, I know. Um, no. I just forgot my charger. Um, Henderson said he might want to be back in Boston on a family plot. The problem with that is they already think he's dead. Right, I mean, they wouldn't have to know it's him buried. We 
don't have much of anything to bury, per se. It would simply be just memorial at this point, unfortunately. Then, I, then let's go with that. Well, if there is no opposition to it, we will set to have that in the next few days, if that's all right. Just nods again. Good. Then that settles it. We will arrange for that. And... I suppose... I, I hate to close the meeting on such a sad note. Unfortunately, all we have for today. Hellings pushes off of the door at that. Mm. Ordin me, Miss Anderson. Uh, this. I, I wanted to save this until after the meeting because it's not really all that big of a deal, but. Um, for those of us who've been doing various on-the-side things that aren't necessarily concurrent or linked to uh, whatever is on the itinerary, um, are we free to continue doing those in the time frame that we have before we go on back on active duty? What specific things do you mean? Um, well, uh... I, I've, I, I don't know if I can speak for anybody else, but um, I have personally been um, continuing uh, where I was previously left off with um, fixing uh, the cars and the RV and um, reinforcing it and stuff and other things. Yes, please, uh, feel free to. It is your time to spend as you wish. Okay. Uh, and Bearsmith raises his hand. And not to cause concern. Uh, are we going to continue looking into the... the spot under the carpet? I know there was concern over that. Uh, just don't want it to fall to the wayside. Of, of course. No, we, that is definitely something we would plan to continue looking into. Uh, it's just currently we do not have a lot of evidence as to what happened during the time we were in the hedge. Und understandable. I can continue to look into it myself uh, if you'd like. He, he gives a small shrug. Evidence gathering is what I do. It would be appreciated, Mr. Bairnsley. Any way I can help. <laughs> he tips his hat and nods. Uh, Natalie, I believe you're the one who had the sample, right? Oh, uh, yeah, it's in the, uh, infirmary. Did we get a blood type on that? I don't remember if we did. Uh, I should have the notes on it somewhere in there as well. I, I can look through those, you, since you're busy with the RV and all that. Thank you. Okay, um, you're, you're welcome. Danny comes down the stairs. Well, good. I'm trapped. Yep. Yep. She sits down next to Pleasant. <laughs> Pulls her thumbs. You may look roll to lunch. 
Uh, I'm rolling to make a lunch also, it's not just them. <laughs> I know. Okay, I like how uh, you know. <laughs> Milo, uh, he shyly raises his hand. I, uh, I don't have much experience with um, mechanics, but if, if you need any help with the RV or anything like that, I, I could try and chime in here and there. That'd be very much appreciated, um, particularly with the RV, just because of how large it is and the kind of stuff that like would help us if we were able to do it with the manpower and the resources. Um, yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> Danny leans across the table. I have no idea how mechanics work, but I will totally help too. Oh, hey, uh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, uh, yeah, but, uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jason, um, you want to come? I am come... Jason. Yes, you are, unless you're not. Um, are you? Uh, I, th- I think I am. Oh my I god, hope... something smells amazing. I hope you are. <laughs> of course, it's my food surprise <laughs> what, did, what did Sal make he made a food surprise of course Jason knows what that is it's a classic they've talked about it so many times on the forums <laughs> uh, yes of course it's what happens when all you have left in the kitchen are potatoes spinach and uh, eggs oh my god he made a that's... frittata yes that <laughs> way to ruin it with words <laughs> Theo <laughs> the ghost of Theo yeah. chimed in uh, oh, Jason, that's how Theo him. comes back to correct your shit <laughs> It's like Jason. an egg pancake. It's I not like, quite an omelet. I like to imagine Sal never learned that, and he just calls it food surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and like Jason knows what it is, but he refuses to teach Sal what it okay. is. <laughs> uh, can Henderson have looked at the itinerary yet? Yep. yep. Oh. Okay. You may do that, and it's pretty much just a rundown of what was discussed. So it has the itinerary of what. Uh, the group of Yao's men, who now at this point, you know, they are specifically kind of Yao's posse, if you will. Um, they're people Yao's who work directly. Squad. Yeah, they, they uh, work directly under him. And there is a specific timeline of where the places they are searching and the areas, like what time, where they're searching, what time, where they're searching. Okay. For the next, like, two days. Okay. And then uh, after that, it has uh, it has room for if uh, you guys need more time to recover. It has notes on uh, the meeting for today, what was on the meeting for today, so about the therapy, about that, about the funeral, um, and then it goes on to the note of if you all are ready, then it would be time looking in this area for people, time looking in this area for people, time looking at this area for people. But okay. it has it so note uh, that the date is noted that it could possibly change, depending on if you guys need more time. Okay. Remember. I just wasn't sure if it was going to be like, and after we're do- done doing that, this will be our mission focus or anything. Because Henderson wanted to like check out and make sure all the mysteries are covered. Ah, uh, gotcha. Uh, currently, that is the main ones. Okay, so it's not extensive. It's just this is our it- our. Uh, it's the itinerary for, for the, about the next week. Yeah, finishing up the hedge stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, he'll read that and he'll sign that. All right. But Hans- you, you, Yao, as he's walking away, I walk. Uh, Yao was waiting for you to move. There's room. Sorry. <laughs> If the Henderson is supposed to be like against the wall. Oh, I is lo- he okay? Yeah. I love how Bree actually implements <laughs> that there's no room. <laughs> and also, uh, uh, Henderson, can you please roll for me? Yes. A uh, a presence politics, please. <laughs> uh, is this penalized by my socially small? No, it is not. You, you, you feel uh, almost this air of uh, like a little ding, and, and you don't know what it is, but it almost feels like you just got plus one Yao point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I put 
fuck shit since you want to come help me with the kid with this shit. Uh, Jason shrugs. I uh, I can hold. I mean, you can probably pack some stuff into my chair. I mean, I was also thinking, like, you help with, like, I don't know, like, screw turning and, like, other things. I, it, I was gonna figure it out when we get there, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll totally help. That's, yeah, I'm down. Also, Sal, I, I know that, but I was going to be inclusive. <laughs> Sal! What? He opens his mouth and points to it. Ah! Yeah, exactly. He shovels food into Jason's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> While looking straight at Natalie, he shovels the food into Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, but last I checked, he can still, like, do hand things. Jason eats the food, and he looks so satisfied. I was waiting for him to say Sal again, and then I was gonna dab his face with a napkin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, this is what I'll do instead. Here's a napkin, Jason. Holds it out. <laughs> uh, he, he reaches around. He reaches in the sound of your voice. He, he will eventually get it, but still prove my point, I would hope. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of sees, misses, 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 touches your face. Sal, where's the napkin? <laughs> <laughs> he takes your hand, puts it on the napkin, looks at Natalie. <laughs> Tell, please. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your food surprise, Natalie. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah. It's good. Did I'm Sal make it. stuff for everyone? Yes. <laughs> he basically, he's like, oh yeah, by the way, we're out of eggs, potatoes, and spinach. <laughs> In the distance, you just hear shh as it's written down on a grocery list somewhere. Oh, who? who? <laughs> you don't know which person did it. It might have been, yeah, it might have been Helix. It might have been Henderson. <laughs> <laughs> Come back from shopping. There's three duplicates of this bitch. <laughs> and they all just laugh together. <laughs> Sal is sad in the back. <laughs> Diplomacy. <laughs> Why don't you love me? Yes, I'd say first quote of season three. Hello. Absent hero. Lalo shyly takes a seat. When oh. he sees their suit. That's a good, good thing boy. I made him none. I'm just kidding. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait. I promised I'd make Lalo something. What was it? I want to make that for him. Was it spaghetti or, or something else? You promised him something. I think it was spaghetti. Can I, can I, have, can I make that specifically for him? Yes, you may. Yes. <laughs> That's how Lalo knew to sit there. There. And he's just like, I promised, wink. <laughs> Smiles a little, like, smile with rosy cheeks. Just thank you. Wonderful. Little chair of rosy cheeks. Little chair of rosy cheeks. As he eats his spaghetti at 12 in that new. Hey, you can have lunch spaghetti. I have lunch spaghetti all the time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound convinced about the validity of lunch spaghetti. I should pat, uh, she passes by and pats Lalo on the shoulder. Aww. Aisha, you're not gonna eat your food surprise. <laughs> oh, I forgot you made her food. Yeah. Shit. She will, she will Or take, she's going to that chair. She will take her food and relocate. She's gotta pat Lalo and pet the puppy. Yes, yes, of course. That's it. Wonderful, wholesome. <laughs> Pleasant, Pleasant has half and then she states she is full. Oh. Aww. Sal, Sal Loki is sad that there is no Theo at the table. <laughs> there was no Theo to help cook dinner or lunch. Sorry. Pleasant leaves and comes back with a container in which to bake the leftovers. <laughs> she's very wholesome. You could say she's pleasant. Also, if you made, did you make, if you made some for everyone, Hellings definitely took some with him into the living room. <laughs> oh well, he would have, he would probably would have gone and give it to him. Actually, you know what? Sal will go on a food run. <laughs> it's only fair. Henderson gets some; he'll probably get denied, but he will offer the food. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can set it down. And hopefully, okay. Bestet doesn't eat it. He gives a smaller plate for Bestet as well. <laughs> you look away and you hear. 
And next thing you know, there is no plate. I was going to say, Sal doesn't even look. Ah, uh, there goes another plate. <laughs> she left the eggs. She took the plate. <laughs> the food's just on the table. No. They're uh, back and it's gone. Back and and the shells. Seen, you're, you're just sitting there, and suddenly you feel yourself chewing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you were just going to oh, say Henderson. horrible. I thought you were just going to say Henderson's plate had more food or he felt full, but that was worse than both of them. <laughs> Wait, Henderson feels chewing or Sal feels chewing? Chewing. No, Henderson. Oh, <laughs> you have food in your mouth now. <laughs> you didn't put it there. <laughs> Are you just gonna reason that one away? Like, oh, it's always <laughs> I did that. I must be tired. <laughs> when you he, swallow, he, your... he, he might take the waste basket and, and reject that food. Uh, when you reject the food, you hear in your ears. Oh, self, self, self. <laughs> <laughs> no, you basically just denied a deal. <laughs> You feel a chill up your spine. You don't know what events you have caused in the future. <laughs> Sal will give food to the Helling. Uh, Helling's... He, he's just sitting and he he's uh, reading a newspaper, as dads do. Yes, of course. And he looks up and he looks at the food. What, what's this? Well, it's lunch, of course. Uh, Does he start crying or something? No, no. He's, he's just like, oh, holy shit, you actually made me food. I wasn't planning on eating lunch. Oh, there you go. He takes the he takes the lunch. He holds it. Nods. He, he gives just a nod. He... I hope there's a club mutual respect of the fact that it's power food. Yes, there is! <laughs> You, you you look at him and he looks at you and you both just hear in your heads protein. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine in their minds they're flexing together. <laughs> no, I'm... he actually he'll, he'll look at me and be like, what? "Good protein feed here, go pop." Yeah, he's just like Sal's so just like, "Hey, eighty percent of working out is your diet." <laughs> That's absolutely right, Mister Santos. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it takes a, a fork full and eats it. I was gonna say, I imagine they, they, they at this point work out at some point. They're clubs. They probably do. I mean, Hellings tends to work out in solitary. Ah, fair. All right. Well, Sal. I mean, yeah. Henderson works out in the attic. I was gonna say, oh, Sal yeah. does the bullshit where he walks out outside when it's freezing cold because he thinks Hellings it makes him stronger. Hellings has his own little workout basement. Remember when we invaded his house? Oh yes, of course. Um, I won't delay this too much longer, but he'll give food to the murderer. <laughs> <laughs> did I, by the way, did, did Make I Make sure he's not destroying evidence while you're in there. Okay, I do that. <laughs> you go in, and he's, uh, looking through some papers, like he's holding some and looking down. He's destroying just evidence. Slowly... Hey, <laughs> you yeah. better not be destroying evidence in there. <laughs> Say that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bears was just like, ha 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 ha. Uh, <laughs> continues paging through. Oh it. my god, what an actual murder. <laughs> why remember why remember these guys by the way yet? Yeah, I, yeah, you can remember them, that's fine. Alright, Sal has a slight bit of anger, but he gives him a plate with slightly less food. <laughs> Fair just, Trit doesn't know. Uh, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Joy. <laughs> Close <Stop>. the door. <laughs> just how do you close the door on him? No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's like, look, but sounds like, sounds like looking at him while he goes. He's talking and you close the door on him. Sound <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> nods. He's done a good thing today. I imagine as he goes towards the owls, he sweats. <laughs> <laughs> Your hands start to shake. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. No, <laughs> I already made the spaghetti. spaghetti. On the plate already. Yeah. Oh god, oh, this is the wrong spaghetti. plate. Yeah, He's so. nervous, but on the surface he looks even more nervous. <laughs> I would like to prepare myself mentally. Yeah. Alright, go ahead and roll a resolve composure. I, I cry. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Brody. Alright, uh, you don't feel any better, Sal. Nice, thanks, Bree. I'll take my one success and shove it. <laughs> I knock on the door. <laughs> I mean, the one success is the only reason you can knock on this door. Uh, <laughs> you you knock. <laughs> what do you do next? There's no answer. Ugh, oh, God. Uh, All right. Would you like to roll a perception? Sure. Is he on the phone? Go ahead and roll a perception. Final roll. 
Um, <laughs> there's my successes. <laughs> right, you're, you're just open to the next reality, and uh, oh, hey, thanks, best. <laughs> While you're doing that, you hear on the other end, uh, Japanese. You speak Japanese, don't you? Of course I do. Why, why wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, Bree. I, I, I would love to cheese you on this, but no, I speak Italian. Oh, I thought you said you picked it up. Never mind. No, that was a joke. <laughs> I myself then. Uh, no, I'm not no. that petty where I'm going to use experience to buy Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, you hear... Japanese on the other end of the door, and you're able to piece together with how he's talking. You're pretty sure he's on the phone right now. Well, I've watched a lot of animes, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, you do hear, after you knock, there's a brief pause, and then he continues again. Ah, jackass. Um, I, I put the... This is like a like a table thingy, right? No, that's a chair. Damn it, I put on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> and I find paper, and I write a note. <laughs> you're the cl with your six successes, the click-clack of pause... You know what? He deserves As it he more. I give it to sits. him. He deserves it more. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine I've insulted Yao again. <laughs> uh, someone rotate the dog on that chair. Like upside no. He just needs to keep rotating. Oh, okay. Well, he can have the food. I give him pets and I give I I point the the That's GoPro. What the dog looks like. Yeah, as I'd say, I point the GoPro and I give give her a thumbs up. <laughs> River, you uh, see as Sal feeds your dog. Yes, good. Minus two. Yeah, I imagine he's like, he's like, did you just feed my food to a dog? Does he think I'm equal to a dog? <laughs> if he even knows about it. No, I'm kidding. Like he just mentally knows somehow. Uh, with your six successes, I will also allow. Uh, you you smell the distant uh, billow of cigarette smoke. <laughs> Smoking inside, of course. Thanks, Yao. <laughs> Mentally upset. <laughs> no, the distance oh. smell smoke coming from the porch. Oh, food to the porch. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, Bree. Good thing I wasn't zoomed out, so I didn't know. You I see did. Abner actually smoking outside for a change. Oh yes, what a good man. Four I see your. <laughs> yeah, I see. Time. I see your morals have improved. <laughs> you see, he's he he is sitting out there. And his uh, legs are kicked up, and there is a a glass of hard whiskey next to him. Yeah. <laughs> and he's you, smoking a cigarette. You want some lunch with your whiskey? He looks at you. <sighs> I could use something to pair it with. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you can't eat it. It's got supernatural legs. Supernatural legs? There's no such <laughs> thing. <laughs> he holds out his hand. <laughs> yeah, to him. What's that to think? <laughs> Takes it. And he takes a spoonful. Oh, and uh, he eats it. And I need to roll real quick. Okay. Shit, I rolled wrong. One sec. Oh, nuts! That's some good potatoes. Right, <laughs> <laughs> These are some dumb, some hot potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> These potatoes remind me of my dead wife. <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, One second, guys. I will wait on my rebuttal then. <laughs> hot potato. <laughs> Just like the hot dame that walked into my office last night. <laughs> hot potato, a ch children's game. <sighs> You wonder why we're still playing it on the streets. Oh but my god. <laughs> <laughs> my life's like a hot potato, but I'm not throwing a potato. It's a bomb. Ready to blow. <laughs> <laughs> you could say, this potato's no longer hot. Puts out cigarette. <laughs> I don't play with potatoes, I play with danger. <laughs> Alright, uh, but yeah. <laughs> Bree missed all that trash. <laughs> I, I don't even know. <laughs> We, we pulled up the Abner Noir again. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. I've failed you. <laughs> right, One second, right. please. <laughs> no. Uh, Shark quietly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say about potatoes. For every mister, you gotta have a missus. <laughs> Second, I'm trying to remember how to spell this name. 
All right, there we go. Cool. <laughs> oh. All right, so Abner, uh, you watch him as he chews the food. <laughs> The, the, and suddenly the tone shifts. Oh no. <laughs> it's not a bad shift. Oh, uh, it's a smooth shift. <laughs> Wait, is that it? Or does he say something? No, he, he said these potatoes are pretty good. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what else you got in there? I was gonna say, uh, what else you got in there? Uh, eggs, uh, spinach, salt, I think paprika. It was red. <laughs> Takes another bite. Shoot, Just the right. Slowly. You, you can see his uh, brows knit together. And I'm gonna roll an investigation check. <laughs> what? Uh, is she gonna figure out what the seasoning is? Just the paprika. Just the right amount of spice. In my <laughs> Red like the blood of his last <laughs> Oh my god. You, yeah, let's say you got those rerolls too. You choose. Yes, I can tell that's some paprika. There's something else in there. There's some. Sal raises his eyebrow. Does he know? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I put cinnamon in it. <laughs> it's my secret he, recipe. He looks at you. Did you use sage? <laughs> sage? <laughs> did did I? I don't know if that's a me up to me you, thing or. You use sage, Sal. <laughs> Okay, I like to I like to think it's a secret that Sal put it in there. Yeah. I, never, I never tell anyone I put sage in my. Not even supply. Jason knows I use sage. <laughs> yeah, not even Jason knows about the sage in my food I've supply. I've been using sage behind Jason's back. <laughs> he would never accept me if he knew that I use sage. <laughs> no, but he does say not even Jason knows I use sage in my food supplies. <laughs> his fucking whiskey glass and he downs it in one go <laughs> and he's like <sighs> it'll continue to be your secret Sal <laughs> you know you're a real man <laughs> he pats him on the shoulder <laughs> <laughs> he takes out his flask which also has more whiskey <laughs> oh my uh, god how is he not dead <laughs> that's the question of the week I know. But that's not important. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it takes another break. Uh, I was gonna say, then what is important? <laughs> <laughs> you've, seen, <laughs> you've seen the new guys around here. Yeah, it was a little group of lackeys. Yeah, come sit down. <laughs> <laughs> They're being sent out, and we're just supposed to sit here to recover. But not all of us are even hurt. It just seems like we're being put on the sidelines. What's your analysis, detective? You think something fishy's going on? <laughs> Sal's half joking. <laughs> Abner takes this seriously. Because <laughs> he speaks this language. I think there's a... Well, to start with, I think you're all crazy. Of course. I think you all could definitely use this therapist. Yes, of course, of course. Because we're crazy. <laughs> God damn it, Sal. <laughs> I don't know, something else seems off here, though. Go on. <laughs> Take that notepad. <laughs> I don't want to be on recording right now. Oh, of course. Hand. It's off the record. I'm just doodling. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> We've got people who we brought in. And one girl. Liz. Are we keeping her in the dark too, or does she get to know about this? Ah, uh, yes. Daniela, hot broth. 
What are you talking about? <laughs> I thought you were talking about her. <laughs> Wait, was he talking about her? His. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know. Five foot dangerous. <laughs> he looks like you're really confused. <laughs> yes, of course, Danny. <laughs> you like, sounds like Gimnit's not getting to him. <laughs> I wasn't talking about Danny. <laughs> oh, of course, that makes sense. <laughs> Liz. Ah, uh, yes, Liz. Eight Saint foot Belly. dangerous. Firecracker ready to blow. She's really not. <laughs> 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 yes, of course, though, no, go on. I understand trying to keep the innocent out of this whole... Sh sh bang you have going on here, this... Illicit activity, he says quietly. Because <laughs> you're on the porch. I just don't trust it. Feels off. Is he saying bringing her in? <laughs> he thinks that it's strange that she's being left in the dark so much. Oh, okay. And that at the same time, there's a bunch of people being kind of sent out and you guys are on hold, even though not everyone's hurt. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. <laughs> Sal's totally agrees. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do about it, detective? He stands up. <laughs> takes the one last bite of the uh, food you gave him. He, he puts his cigarette out. I'm gonna have a look around town, I think. Ah. Uh. Talk with some of the folks, see if uh, they've noticed anything else. Reasonable next steps, yes. I'd join you, but I have therapy to attend. And you should go. Because I'm You crazy. definitely need it. <laughs> <laughs> he says, squinting. <laughs> and and it, I don't know if he's going to leave right now. He, he's uh, getting ready to. You notice he kind of mm, winces a bit as he gets up because he, not too terribly long ago, he was nearly de deadly, uh, deathly yeah. injured. Before, I want him as he leaves, like, I want Sal to be like, wait, detective. <laughs> he's not even halfway off the porch. He's just like, what? You want to see the shark I drew? <laughs> he looks over to you and puffs his cigarette that you don't remember him lighting. Okay. He comes over. I show him the shark. I'm gonna need you to roll your, uh, your, uh, what's this gonna be? Your Crazy. dex crafts. Oh, I like that. That's a good one. I'm gonna use a willpower on this. Alright. Hell yeah. It's, it's a, it's a shark with, like, a cigarette. <laughs> it's got, like, right. four cigarettes. And then it has, it's quoting all of the things he's been saying. <laughs> he, he looks at it. And he nods. He taps the paper. That's me. <laughs> he walks off the porch. I love it. I love that's me. What a man. <laughs> that's what Sal says to himself as he leaves. <laughs> kind of shakes Sal so as he goes. He kind of shakes out. What the fuck was that? <laughs> he goes back to you. Go to therapy, Sal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to everyone, by the way. I wanted to apologize. <laughs> Nope. It's fine. Get right back into it. Yeah. The good shit's don't, going. Don't apologize. This is amazing. The long-winded trash. Uh, anyways, if anyone wants to do anything before I therapy. Uh -oh. Does anyone want to do anything before the therapy? Begins? Yeah, it's gonna get real depressing. Um, after Lemons is done eating and claiming Sal's chair over here. If you saw my two beautiful leggies I drew. Yes, um, me. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you just put it there? Cause he's sitting on the thing he's that's across the, from it. He's sitting on the corner, but he's still put his feet on oh, the chair. Oh, okay. Uh, Danny notices your feet and she crosses her legs over it. That works. Uh, but when he's done, he's actually he'll get up, uh, put his plate away, and actually go down uh, to see what River's up to. All right, you yeah. head down to River. Spoiler alert: It's science. Well, first he'll knock on the door to make sure no one's in the bathroom. Wait, do you have to go to the bathroom to get to the basement? Yeah. Yep. It's so weird. That's always been how it is. Well, yeah. yeah, and it's always been weird. How River lives in the bathroom, in a way. 
Are there are there locks on your lab, or you can just walk on? In? Not not yet. Yeah, it's open right now. Oh, excellent. Probably, Probably a hammock. Walking, you feel corner. a presence on your shoulder. Well, he was just gonna. Oh, yes. He he'll pet the slimy slug. It vibrates like a motor. Yes. Uh, he comes in here, and uh, is, is there a place for him to sit? Oh, there's a hammock set up. About it. There's probably a single rolly chair that she's been going around the entire lab with. <laughs> she doesn't stand up. She just scoots. <laughs> hmm. Can't really sit up very well in hammocks, so he's gonna go find this corner over here. Or no, actually, this he'll just sit on the stairs. Just watch. Afternoon, Lemon. River. Oh, does River have the stupid yellow chair down there yet? A stupid yellow chair. You were gonna install a stupid yellow chair for Lemons. Oh, right, yes. He hasn't come down <laughs> enough yet. <laughs> okay. He's establishing soon. that right now. <laughs> yes, yeah, soon he'll get his stupid yellow chair. <laughs> What? She is watching you? screens and uh, also taking notes on other things. <laughs> Find anything out yet? Nothing of interest. There's gotta be something of interest. Of course, but I don't think you care for the little things. Yeah. Uh, was she able to set up a camera at Omega's milk? Ah, uh, sure. Right. An eye on that one right now. How does, uh, I forgot, did the cameras freak out in Omega's presence? Because I know we had a camera out there at one point, too. The time freaks out. But the video feed stays the same? Yeah. Huh. She's just trying, uh, has she seen any of the, uh, Yawa's boys pass by? Uh, no. You may have seen one of them walk by the perimeter, but they never went in. You know where you should put a camera? You should get one out there in uh, Sammy's uh, cabin. Sammy's cabin? Yeah, fin Finnegan's cabin. And then another one uh, out over there by the treehouse. I would be overjoyed to. I knew where they were. Oh, I can point you to, well, to the treehouse. I know where the cabin is too, but I don't know how safe that one is. Stop checking. Take care of all the beasts. You're willing to guide there. Well, it's it's not beasts that you're going to be worrying about over at the cabin. That That's Julia's place. Ah. As far as I'm aware. If the mimics have not moved, are those among the creatures they're taking care of? Hmm. The others, the ones that are hard to see in the dark, are they also being taken care of? The wisps? No, the ones with the other lady. The mimics. Yes. Yeah, the, I didn't hear anything about mimics being taken care of, just the hedge bees. Anyways, uh, there's also what I think is another treehouse, but I've never actually seen it for myself. But any point out. of interest, I would love to have a camera set up. Better safe than sorry. Okay. Field trip for later. It'll be fun. You got some fresh air. Mm-hmm. She says having willing <laughs> willingly stayed in the basement for several days. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and he will pet more slug. That's pretty much it. I mean, unless River's got more to say. She's kind of turned back to the cameras, so she's done. <laughs> yep. Clem's just gonna watch, because uh, <laughs> not much else to do. 
Anything else anyone else wanted to do quick? Can I look over the antenna? Yep. Nice. Uh, did you hear when I explained it, Tinky? Uh, no. Uh, okay, so so at you. this point as well, she will also read it aloud so that Jason knows what it is, because he will have gotten a copy, but I don't know if it will be in Braille or not. <laughs> uh, let me roll to see how how, my, uh, how much foresight Yao has with that. <laughs> Thank also, you for attending, Lousy. Thank you, Lousy. Night, night. I do not think it is. Right. She will read it out so that Jason knows. <laughs> Alright, so pretty much it's a list of uh, times in which... Uh, so it's listing the times in which Yao's men are going out into what specific area of the woods uh, mm -hmm. to search for hedge beasts. And then it has a, uh, a list of kind of what they're going to try and do to kill them. Um, and then, like, backup plans, all that. Oh, okay. And um, that's for the next, about the next week. Uh, after that, there is, and it notes that the dates are variable, is your guys' mission, in which you are sent out to the, it notes the specific parts of where you're being sent, mm -hmm. what time, uh, who, the people that are listed missing, uh, appearances, things like that. So it has to essentially the little versions of the, uh, missing posters. Right. And so that it has uh, times and dates for that, and then it also has the uh, the notes from the meeting today. Fair enough. Uh, in what uh, order are the missing persons like being looked for, and whereabouts are they being looked for? All right. Uh, let me look here. All right. So uh, at top of list, you have Lauren Tote mm -hmm. uh, and Kiwi. So the two children are at top. Correct, yep. And uh, then you have... Let me look here. You have Jessica Dolly Parker, mm -hmm. followed by Catherine. Mm -hmm. CC. Mm -hmm. uh, there's Gloria afterwards. Care. And then... Let me look here. I believe that's it. Yes, I believe that is uh, the missing ones. Mm. Uh, it also has a note on there to keep an eye... Oh, yeah, no, that is it. Um, keep an eye out for any additional missing persons that may have come through town, as it is noted during uh, their searches while you were all gone, um, that vehicles were found in the woods. Right. Okay. Um... Oh, shit. Uh... Uh, I forgot what I was going to ask. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> I will think of it later. Uh, but pretty much, the areas, for the most part, it's starting in Cornfield. Right, okay. Um, you noted that previously on the itinerary, it's... Uh, specified for the club group to go out into the cornfield for cl uh, clearing out hedge beasts. Mm -hmm. uh, followed by that, you are going into the northern woods and also up to the uh, lighthouse. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that's what I was going to ask. Um, what are the, is there anything on the itinerary about like disposal slash autopsy of uh, the hedge beasts. Uh, it has not been noted as currently the person who is usually in charge of that is in it, Henderson's basement. Right. Cool. Yep. Alright. Okay. Um... I have some questions for River then, I guess. <laughs> she, she will, like, just kind of say semi-rhetorically. Uh, if only the dog were in there so she could hear through the GoPro. Mm -hmm. Nope, the dog's eaten the food and is now passed out on the chair. All she hears is munch, munch, munch. Mm -hmm. 
No, you hear dog snores. Always oh, happy. You'll also hear a hear a Nidalee come down the stairs into your lab river. Oh. Hello. More visitors. Yeah. Uh, hi. Do you, hi. Um. Uh, what's uh the current situation with um like doing a uh, disposal slash autopsy of the uh, hedge beasts that Yao's men are taking care of? Oh, I'm sure she's been all over that. Where would that be, Brianna? For what? Autopsy and uh, disposal of hedge beasts. Oh, it's in your lab. <laughs> okay, but that's going along well. I'm sure she's distilled plenty of. Uh, oh yeah, you you. Of uh, blood. There's, what do you think this vat of green is over here? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. That's going uh, marvelously. So. Would you like uh, one of them? Okay. Uh, Grabs one of the perfume vat. Uh. I mean, it can't hurt to have one, I guess, but that's not why I'm here. Uh, sure. It's for stealth. Of oh. course, it won't be as effective since they're being purged from the area. But in a pine. Hey, you never know. We may end up back in the hedge again. It may come in super handy. Um, so, I was... Uh, I'm gonna get a bit heavy here, but uh, with the um, with the uh, autopsies, have you um, found any uh, human remains that we can uh, link to uh, a missing person? Uh, good question, Brianna. Mm-hmm. Uh, ha- through autopsy, has any human body parts come through during dissection? Oh, and it's been for the hedge piece or the gar- gargoyles you've been dissecting. Uh, either or. I think you've been dissecting gargoyles, you have found no human remains. As of the gargoyles thus far, no human remains. Which we believe they are stealing them anyway. Yeah, that's not their ML. I mean, so, the hedge beast specifically. Will be next. Have we had an opportunity to dissect them? Good question. I could use a helper, Mr. Lemon. If you'd like to speed this along. I absolutely can. And then we'll be able to get to them sooner. Nice. I'll have an answer for you within the week. Excellent. It'll just help sort of narrow the investigation down and whatnot. Awkward thumbs up, leave. <laughs> <laughs> Watch as you go. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so, uh, this will move right into the therapy. I'm thinking I might, because we have people who have college and work in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and officially call session here, if that's all right. And then yes, next week we can roll straight into therapy. Yeah. All right. That's is that cool. all right? Yeah. I'm going yeah. to keep going, but if people want to go to sleep. I mean, I'm good to keep going too, but I'm going to talk- listen to the Sal session. You're you're okay to listen to the Sal one? Yeah, I can, I can do it. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I mean, how long like do you think it'll be? Maybe. It, it shouldn't be too terribly long, but I just uh-huh. wanted to make sure everyone's okay. As long as it's like less than an hour, it's fine. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, we okay. will cut then to. Okay. So should I keep keep recording then? Keep recording. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and set this up quick. Oh, do we get a room? Hey, what How much baggage do you got, Sal? <laughs> I don't know. Are you gonna uh, talk his to dad. Your dad? Yeah, his dad. That's like all of his baggage. I mean, his friend is dead now. That kind of sucks. Oh, there, Sal. You might need to calm down. What? Slow down, damn it. I referenced wrong ago. <laughs> Number four. Execution. <laughs> I like how you actually put it, like, in the order it was put on the paper. <laughs> Alright. Sal, you sure. eventually follow uh, Miss Lee. In yeah, someone's room. Upstairs, and into the newly remodeled model therapy room. 
Oh, yeah. It was uh, Sarah's room. It was an empty room. Oh, okay. Sal so probably wouldn't even realize that. Because the one on the end over here was Carly. Ah, classic. This song, which is slightly creepy, but slightly happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. The classical, I'm not sure if I'm afraid. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is an Andrea classic. <laughs> it's, it's a placeholder, as I find a better one. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I have any good ones. All right, and she she uh smiles at you. <laughs> good afternoon, Sal. I'm glad you were able to join me. Did you have a good lunch? I mean, did you have mm. a good lunch? Oh, it was delicious. They're very kind of you. Thank uh, you. Then I had a good lunch. She smiles. So we are going to roll right into it, if that's all right with you. Sure. All right. She has a notepad. Uh, let me just make sure I have everything set up here. Do, do, do. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice song. Oh, hey, that's uh, <laughs> the one I just played. <laughs> Good. Also, the slightly happier, slightly creepy song. All right. Is that the roll initiative? Uh, no. <laughs> Unless you want to punch Grandma. You can't stop me. Aren't you? That's... So, to begin with... The simple, how are you doing today? Well, you know. Uh, besides... The looming fact of my friend's recent passing, I guess you would say. I'm doing pretty all right. And concerning that passing, how has it affected you? Are you noticing any changes in daily behavior? Hmm. Nope, same schedule. Get up, work out, make breakfast, sit around until I'm told to do something. Make lunch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, kitchen, the kitchen is uh, noticeably quieter. Is that because you used to cook with him? Yeah. does that make you feel? Well, <clears throat> what am I supposed to say? Happy? <laughs> of course it makes me sad. I mean, I guess now I can't beat me anymore. <laughs> Sorry, Did that was... Did you often have competitions? I mean, <clears throat> I wouldn't say often, and I wouldn't call them competitions, because he always won. Sita, tell me more about your relationship with uh, Theo. I mean, uh, <laughs> sounds like I don't know how to describe it, but noticeably uncomfortable at the mention of his relationship with Theo. <laughs> it wasn't always the best. Um, that's all. I mean, that's that's my fault, not really his fault. Uh, but near the end, I guess a good time for it to get better. It got a lot better. And how did it get better? What did you do to improve it? I told him I wanted to be friends again, and I don't. I don't think he ever thought we stopped being friends. <laughs> it's very theo-like of him. Do you like? You know. He does like a smile. <laughs> she smiles back. But like with his hands up, like it's a motion, you know? Mm -hmm. Could you go into further detail on that? Um. 
he was a good friend. He was always there. He saw the light and essentially everything. I don't think there was a time where he couldn't calm us down. <clears throat> Just bringing it up makes me feel a little bit like shit, not gonna lie. He... He essentially... I don't know. Not really a good way to say this, but... In terms of being a good person, he's like the poster child. Or was, I guess. Or is. Uh. And if he was the poster child, where did you consider yourself? I don't know. What would you call something of uh, the opposite of a poster child? <laughs> you believed you were the worst of them? Thanks, Anderson. <laughs> um, okay, well, that's not... He stops. He thinks about it now you mention it. <laughs> At times? Not always. Why is that? Looks like I fucked up a lot. Am I allowed to say that? You're not allowed to say anything here. Okay. Yeah, I fucked up a lot. Are you alright with recounting what happened during those times? There's like a, like a, like a kind of like pushback. I was like, uh, <laughs> I don't know how much time you have. <laughs> we have all the time that you need. Uh, I knew you were going to say something like that. You know, you're not really breaking the whole therapist stereotype very much here. <laughs> We go to college for it for a reason. <laughs> All right, fair enough, I guess. You know what? I actually have a question. <clears throat> all right. So you're giving us all therapy session. And then are we going to keep doing it? Or is it to see if we're crazy? Or... I would be happy to continue sessions so long as you would like to. Aren't you tired? Yes. Well, don't I you am have... here to help with everyone's mental health. I am by no means a cardio. Don't you have, like, retirement stuff to do? You answered the question just now. I'm retired. What, you don't garden or something? There's a garden here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess. I was just saying, if I was retired, I wouldn't work. you do if you were retired mm, oof. you know what you got me granny <laughs> <laughs> I would totally work <laughs> she nods but as we were talking about do you look back at those previous instances and does it affect your personal worth? My personal worth changes every week. Depending on the events of the day. And the... I don't know where the sun is. It's not, it's not very consistent. Is this because of the people around you? Or how you see yourself? It's no one else's fault. <clears throat> Because I have things going on. Because I fuck up, it's no one else's fault. What sort of things? What sort of things do I fuck up? Oh, do you... Whichever, I suppose. Raises eyebrow. <laughs> I mean... There are things I've done that I shouldn't have... I'm sure you've read, like, my files. Or something. <laughs> As I said previously, I am not a guardian. All right, all right. So, let me let me let me think. I don't know where where do you where do you want me to start? You just want to cherry pick them? Whichever you'd like to do. Okay, well, uh, there's that one time I almost killed my boss. There's that one time that I sold a part of his personality. And there's that one time I punched a kid in the face just because he looked like a clock. And then there's that one time I left my mom 
before eating lunch. She probably still wonders, I wonder if that letter ever got to her. There's that one time that I punched an orphanage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> guys, feel free to message me with other things because I'm forgetting. But he would list them, so please help me out here. Uh, that one time you ripped a demon yeah. in half. There's that one time I set a house on fire. You There's fed a one demon time. to your cat. Yeah, I fed a demon to my cat, and then it exploded my cat. And then I sold all my dreams so I could get my cat back, but then I got a demon version of the cat. Wait, no, he's not a demon. I don't know what he, what she is now. <laughs> Maybe she's a god, finally. That'd be kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Da -da 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 -da. There's that one time that I said I... Oh, what was that one, uh, Inky? <laughs> oh, lemons. <laughs> There's that one time I was supposed to keep lemons safe, and then I didn't. <laughs> Uh, there's that one time that I attacked my team, but that wasn't really my fault. <laughs> but, you know, it kind of was, I guess. Uh, Why do you believe it was? Well, I don't know. I kind of got her attention. I don't know if that's really, like, a bad thing, but, you know, I could have gone about it better. I was weak-willed. Shrug. <laughs> How do you believe you could have gone about it better? had an actual plan instead of being allowed. Do you tend to avoid plans? Oh, jeez. I don't avoid plans. I just, you know, forget that you can use plans sometimes. <laughs> you mentioned there were several instances concerning your boss. Yeah, that one time I almost killed him. The one time I sold his stuff. No one time. Oh yeah, then there's that thing. <laughs> Sounds like ooh, <laughs> that thing I'm not supposed to know. Thing you're not supposed to know. Sal sweats. <laughs> <laughs> what is this thing? It's none of it's none of my business. <laughs> But you stumbled into it and wish you had it. <laughs> Eyebrows open. <laughs> I stumbled. <laughs> it was more of a. Uh, <laughs> I I kind of asked for it, but didn't realize what it was. <laughs> and this was concerning your boss. Well, I mean, it wasn't just my boss. <laughs> Do you wish you hadn't learned it? I mean, it brings light to some things. <laughs> Did it change the relationship between you and your boss? Oh no, it did not with my boss. But with someone else? <laughs> yes, <it was. laughs> No comment, question mark. <laughs> It seems to be something that is weighing on your mind. I'm sorry, is this a, is this a, a doctor-patient confidentiality? Absolutely. <laughs> Looks for cameras. <laughs> there, were no ca there are no cameras. He I don't say that. tried to install one earlier and it was removed. Wait a minute. <laughs> she has cameras? I believe they were taken out of any rooms and they're just in the hallways. Oh, okay, well I'll believe that. But nonetheless, as I was saying, this event, it seems to uh, be weighing on you whenever it comes into mind of your, if not your boss, then someone else. Look, I don't like to keep secrets. I don't want to keep secrets. It's not my job to keep secrets, but this is a thing I would, I'm not, I'm really allowed to tell anyone. And lady, you're giving me real good tell me vibes. I don't want, I just, I don't want it anymore. So I want somebody else to have it. I want everyone to have it except for me. 
I'm really, really bad with secrets. Is the reason I'm not. I don't know, spade or heart or whatever. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't <laughs> so, it is a secret that you can't tell anyone. Well, that's what a secret is. Yes. But sometimes they're shared. So there's no one else that knows but you. Ah, uh, you're gonna have to remind me, Bree. <laughs> I'm unaware of if Sal is aware of anyone else knows. Uh, technically, yes, there are. There is another person that knows Sal. No, I know, but I don't know if Sal knows that. I can't remember. Because I think they might have had a mutual... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. So I guess he realizes I should know. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, well, I mean, I know, and people involved know, and, uh, well, my, my girlfriend uh, knows because she's the one who showed me, uh, and, um, and, and, and I think someone else knows that I, I Aisha knows. <laughs> and am I correct to assume that your boss in this case is Mr. Hellings? I mean, I'm saying could have assumed it was anyone else. Lucky guess. <laughs> you mentioned that I should knew. Yeah. All right. I mean, it makes sense. So it is a secret to everyone except those you mentioned. Well, that I know. Have you spoken to Aisha about this? No. It's just none of my business. <laughs> she doesn't know that I know, I don't think. Oh, wait, no, she, she she probably does. I don't know what she thinks about me knowing. I, I don't know how she figures I know. I can't, it's so convoluted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sal is also, I can't, it's so convoluted. And you said that your significant other told you this information? Yeah, she showed me. <laughs> Are you not able to talk to her about these complications? Well, in canon, I don't know if Sal's talked to her in a while. I don't know if there's he a... has not. Yeah. I, is that out of failed attempts or just they, they haven't slept? <laughs> uh, I would say you've slept a couple times recently and haven't seen her. But Sal specifically like requests for it, so. Okay. That's what I'm wondering. I'm sure he would. So I don't know if I want. It. We want to say that's failed requests. Sure, failed requests. Ooh, that's that. Now we have something Ooh. else that's bothering Sal. Ooh. She won't answer my calls. And is this something that just started happening, or had it happened with time? All right, what do you mean by that? Was there a progression of her not answering you? No, it just it just she just stopped answering. How does that make you feel? I feel like we tangent a lot here. <laughs> this is a place for you to be able to talk about your thoughts. I guess so. <laughs> Doesn't say anything. <laughs> Was there anything else that's on your mind? I mean, yeah. There's always something on my mind. <laughs> Would I like to share it? No. <laughs> you don't want to share any of it? Nope. Nothing that would help you. I mean, I don't... I don't see how one therapy session is going to help me anyway. It is a progression. How is your relation with your co-workers? <laughs> He's like, pick one. <laughs> oh. I have some interesting ones. So yeah, go ahead. Pick one. I guess we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> Why don't you talk about the ones that stand out for you? Okay, well, we can start with the cannibal. 
Then we'll move on to the we'll move on to the giant scientist next, and then you know sassy red, and then you know we got the uh, we got the the the, the literal hitman, or <laughs> not hitman I guess. Whatever, we'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, cannibal, um, nice guy. <laughs> get it? Uh, he's like waiting for a reaction. <laughs> no, she she does a thin smile and. <laughs> It's silent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he eats people, and I'm uncomfortably okay with this. Also, he's extremely powerful. I'm pretty sure he's a he's a very powerful magical creature now. So that's nice. Um, best friends with uh, you know the embodiment of fear. So that's always fun. Um, and then he outranked me. I was a little a little mad about that. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding about that one. Um. No, but, you know, honestly, I got closer to him after I found out he eats you. <laughs> Actually, I found out twice, because I sold my memories. Ha! Isn't it funny that I forgot that? God. What a miserable... What has it been, a year? Yeah, year. pretty much almost a year, yeah. It's been, like, less than a year. It's not even been a full calendar year yet. <laughs> Absolutely it's almost. Miserable. Miserable. You showed up in, what, late August? And late now August. It's now it's March, yeah. There was that one week that felt like... It's only been, like, six, six months. Yeah. Very, very... Or sorry, that one day that felt like six weeks. I guess it was a really, really long night. <laughs> so anyways, back to what I was saying about the cannibal friend. Yeah, I don't have any problems with that. I think that's weird. <laughs> All right. Is there any other thoughts you had on Wait, this? Wait, you're not gonna you're not gonna tell me if it's weird. <laughs> I need to know if it's weird. He, he literally eats people, lady. <laughs> Do you believe it's weird? I mean, yeah, that's what I said. It's weird. <laughs> then that's what you believe. Well, it's not very helpful, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, I know that. I know what I believe. I'm not, not really having issues with that. I'm hoping to be affirmed or denied those beliefs. And then we move forward, I would hope, from that. It isn't my place to tell me or tell you if your thoughts are wrong or right. Simply to recognize that they are. Sound blinks. <laughs> Do you often look for affirmation from others? Oh god, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I did good, Dad. <laughs> Tell me I did a good job. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lying. <laughs> roll the lie, motherfucker. You're gonna need to roll your manipulation subterfuge. Good. It's a luck die. <laughs> Sal never lies. I don't hold secrets. <laughs> so why is it you find yourself needing affirmation from others? <laughs> oh God! You know you went from 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 wholesome grandmother <laughs> being, being kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Speak, speak honest, you know? That's what you said to do, I think, probably. She nods. <laughs> Waits. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's a... Uh, let's let's do the, the stereotypical answer. Alright, let's let, let me give you the whole... Well, my dad left me when I was ten. <sighs> it's just immediately, like... I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Sure, is that it's a pretty pretty obvious answer. I, I did your your six years of college. Is there someone here specifically you find yourself looking to more for affer um, I, affirmation? I, I I wanted to quickly apologize <laughs> for being extremely rude. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, no, uh, no, there's not a particular person. I guess you could say. 
my bosses, but I would hope that I would want my bosses to appreciate the work that I do, regardless of if my dad left me. Jesus. <laughs> Look, it's all fine and dandy, though, because he called me. Told me I was a traitor. Did he? Yeah. When did he call you? When? Yes. I don't know, like, a couple days ago. <laughs> How did you feel when you received that call? Well, at first I was happy. And then I was extremely pissed off. Because he left? Well, no, because his, his excuse was I had to leave because of something, something. I don't remember. It was, so I had to protect you, you know, like Superman bullshit, right? Do you wish he hadn't left? I don't know. That's a hard question to answer. You had mentioned previously that you regretted leaving your mother. Is that because of this? Flares nostrils, <laughs> very subtly though. <laughs> Sure. Is that well, what you we'll, we'll attribute it to that. I, I didn't. Let's just say a lot of the questions you ask, I haven't thought about. But you know, unlike him, I kind of had a choice, or I didn't have a choice. Do you believe he did? Oh yeah, I very much do. Why is that? Because he didn't say he didn't have a choice. She nods. Seems like a pretty immediate thing to say. He also had the opportunity to contact me, I'd like to point out. He did. If he was here, what would you say to him now? I don't do this. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you wouldn't want to speak with him? Let's just say I'm procrastinating that interaction until it actually happens. Is he coming here soon? Oh, I don't know. I think apparently I'm supposed to talk to him at some point. Are you worried? Would you be? I'm not the one answering the questions. Yeah, because your dad didn't leave you. <laughs> I, he did not laugh. I did. Yeah. <laughs> she just blinks. You know, Sal. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he'll probably follow, but I guess I didn't. I don't know that. You had sent a letter back home to your mother, you said, but you weren't sure if she had seen it. <clears throat> Have you thought of sending another? I mean... <clears throat> It's not really going to change the fact of whether or not, I guess, I guess the point of knowing is the value to me, you know, which I guess it shouldn't be, but it is to know that it got there. Otherwise, it feels like I'm sending it to the, I, I, I'm sure it did. I just never asked. And it's not because I, you know, you do, I didn't want to know the answer. No, it's not that. I just forgot. And also, you know, we were attacked by monsters and uh, my friend's evil, magical boyfriend. He's a dick, by the way. He's <laughs> <laughs> a real fucking dick. Tell me more about him. Yeah. He's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't say that. That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, no. I mean, Sal had like Spinnigan more than Bo. <laughs> wow, rude. Yeah. Uh, well, you said he said, "Tell me more about him." Yeah. Um, he's like nine feet tall. He's made of ice. Doesn't wear clothes. Stutters. <laughs> oh, he kills my friend. Uh, I guess kidnapped. He kidnapped your friend. Yeah, he kidnapped him. 
I don't know whether to refer to him as dead or not. I guess kidnap is fair. So, yeah, you know what? Now that you mention it, I don't know why we're having a funeral. Do you have funerals for kidnapped people? I guess people don't tend to get kidnapped permanently. Do you believe that he is still alive? I mean, probably. In his own magical ice way. I don't know if Bo turned him into, like, an icicle or something. How do you feel about him staying there? Um, do you wish you could go back? No. Because if I did, I would get myself killed. Is there anything else that is weighing on your mind? Um, I mean, all those things that I've mentioned continue to weigh in my mind. <laughs> oh, just by talking about it doesn't mean grief will vanish instantly. Everything heals over time. Yeah, I guess not. Except scars they don't heal scars are the result of healing yeah but they don't heal if I lose my arm it's not gonna grow back no but you will learn to live without it yeah I guess Tomo can attest to that that guy's weird <laughs> her head. He's... I don't trust him. <laughs> Why do you not trust him? Look, that guy was crazy when I met him. <laughs> or he was like leading, he was leading up to crazy. And then one day, when he hits full crazy, he just stops being crazy. And I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all. by full crazy. You have to remind me. I don't remember if he did anything full crazy. <laughs> That's well, there was the one time he cut that thing up under the bed and laughed. But I don't think Sal was aware of that. That's the problem. Nick, what times have Tomo gone full crazy? I, I, yeah, I guess it's not fair to say he's gone full crazy. Um, no. I'm pretty sure the only few times... Well, the, the time when I think he did cut him. Vokil into a hundred pieces. Yeah, that one was pretty... Yeah. Everyone saw that. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like... He that freaked was kind out of pretty hard when we were in the memory room and we saw his shit. Yeah, I think, yeah the torture thing. I think the Vokil... I think the Vokil one is fair. A fair... Yeah, I don't... Tended to I think one. before that, though, I think the only other ones was... Um... The one incident in the treehouse... Where he nearly got everybody killed. Yeah. That well, wasn't really... That, uh, no, that's... Wasn't that's, really a freak out, though. To Sal, that's the build-up. The crazy, I'd say, was the vote kill thing. Because when you came out of there... <laughs> that's when Sal was like, this guy's hella chill now. <laughs> but yeah, I'll go off that. Um, so, can you repeat the question so I can... <laughs> uh, she basically asked why. Uh, there was that one time when we were in the hedge. You know, one of the 80 times we were in the hedge. Love that place. We killed, or somebody shot someone, and they fell into the forest. And that crazy man, <laughs> crazy motherfucker. <laughs> I thought, like, I was pretty irresponsible sometimes, right? But he ran straight into the, you know, the magical woods that steal your soul. And he kind of let loose, I guess. And then came back out. Jeez, Sal shrugs. Ever since then, he's been perfectly calm, and everyone talks to him like normal, and he's business as usual, and guys, we have to band together. Like, I, f I feel like I'm missing something. He was different when he walked out of those woods. Well, he's just not crazy anymore, and most people would probably say that's a good thing. I'm sorry, is crazy like a you-can't-say-that-anymore thing? 
Am I not being PC here? It's fine. Okay, yeah, he was crazy and now he's not. Which to me is crazy. Alright. Do you believe that the woods had something to do with that? I don't know, they steal your soul. I don't know how it works. But Maybe. he wasn't the same afterwards? He was, like I, I, I mean, I'm telling you, yeah. In my eyes, he's, he's completely different. Do you avoid him? I don't speak to him regularly. Is that because he unsettles you? A little bit. She nods. <laughs> well, aside from that, you mentioned... Was there anything else you wanted to talk to before we wrapped up for today? Yeah, I mean, if we're going through all my teammates. <laughs> Please continue. I don't want to keep anyone here, by the way. <laughs> do it. I want to hear what Sal thinks about everybody. Do it. Do it. Pass it. it. Pass right. it. I don't know who. I don't know. I don't know who is next in order. What did he say? He said the cannibal. Uh, the cannibal. seven foot tall scientist. Yes. Oh yeah, the next is the seven foot tall scientist who I get along with quite well, I think, actually. <laughs> There's a weird mutual trust there and I don't know why <laughs> is it because others do not get along with them as well oh yeah everyone hates her <laughs> <laughs> like one of our bosses hates her I don't think Natalie likes her Tomo just is indifferent to everyone because he's a psychopath <laughs> Lemons is I don't know playing some kind of marionette with us, so he, he's doing his own thing. <laughs> I don't know. Henderson's afraid of everything. We'll get to him later. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think they have a great relationship either. Who am believe, I missing? Do you believe they're missing something? Who, River? No, the others. Oh, that's what to say. Probably. Um... <laughs> Miss missing something about her? If you uh, get along with her, but others don't. Oh, I know. What I is the difference, you believe? She can be a bit hard to... understand. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I don't know. She comes off like she's using everyone. But if you ask me, so is everyone else here. So it's not really that surprising. <laughs> if I can be friends with the, you know, the cannibal, I think I can be friends with the seven-foot science giant. So you consider them a friend? I would say so. She probably wouldn't consider me a friend. Why is that? Well, friends aren't scientific. <laughs> Acquaintance would probably be the word she used, but in a fancy British accent. I love so. <laughs> yeah, I guess on that note of, of everyone's using everyone, he'll probably go, oh yeah. That was a nice thing about Theo being here. He didn't use anyone. But everyone else does. Ah, I'll give Tomo that. He doesn't use people. Because he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But you feel that everyone else does? Essentially in their own ways, yeah. What ways? Uh, or... Lemons is pretty open about it. Not open, but it's pretty clear. I mean... He's not actually super nice, so when he's being super nice, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> um, well, I guess that's not fair. Sometimes he is nice, which is weird. I guess he's using me then. That's fine. Um, you know, River's pretty open about it too, like science. Um, like I said, Tomo doesn't. Natalie doesn't. Well, I mean. <sighs> I don't want to say this because it's kind of rude, but I guess she kind of uses this for her own, you know, leadership validation and heroics validation. Um, am I missing any team members? All the aces. Ah, uh, don't worry about and that. Henderson. 
You missed Smalling. Henderson. No, we're socially, we're socially smalling Henderson out of this. <laughs> God Alan damn just it. I literally Hello, forgot Henry. Henderson. Do you feel that the others in the house are doing the same? Uh, you only mentioned three co workers. Oh, the rest of them are my bosses, so it's a little. I don't want to get fired. <laughs> Everything here is confidential. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't. There's nothing more I can do to make you believe it than other than promise you. Yeah, that's that's fine. My point being, I mean, in, they they it's less of using in their case and more of what's the most efficient way to do this, you know. Which is fine. I'm kind of over that at this point, to be honest. <laughs> You know, you gotta do what you gotta do, etc. Doesn't talk about it, JD. <laughs> Not lying, it's omission. So, you had mentioned you had two friends here. Well, that's not true. Excuse you. Yeah, I have more than two friends. Who are the others? How long would it take you to list all your friends? Exactly. But I could list them. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, this is, there's so many ranges, though. Like, some people I'm getting closer to, but I wouldn't consider them full on friends. Like who? You know, like, I, I feel like I've mended relationships. One of my bosses, the one I almost killed. I feel like we're doing better. <laughs> Do you feel that your relationship is more than professional? Well, yeah, it feels that way now. Considering I sold part of him. To like a weird goblin thing. Who were the others? Oh, you got... Lemons. I think Lemons is fair to consider a friend. You got the one-sided friendship with River. You got... You know, you got Jason. Classic. <laughs> you had Theo before he was kidnapped. Did I say Cheney? Well, I say Cheney, if I didn't already. Um. I mean, Arthur, until he went crazy. God, everyone's going crazy. Um... There's probably other people I was friends with before they got kidnapped or something. I don't remember. It's been a while. Car uh, no, 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 I don't say Carly. He doesn't say Carly. <laughs> Does he literally do the car? No, no. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Did he ever call her? I don't remember. He put her on a list of people to talk to, I think, and they never did. We can do an RP for a call if you want to call her. I can't remember how that went. There was a reason he didn't. I don't remember what it was, though. Do you believe, then, after... The, if the mental state is compromised, that the friendship is no longer. Well, that's current. not fair. Making me look like a like a bigot or something. It's rude. I'm simply asking. Oh yeah, if they, you know, turns out they're gay, you can't be friends with them anymore. That's not what I'm saying, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I literally just haven't seen him because he went crazy, and I'm hoping him the best. But I just haven't seen him. Have you thought about talking to him? I mean, sure. I guess why not? Now that I'm here again, haven't really had the opportunity. But this isn't this isn't a problem. Let's move on to something else. <laughs> what would you like to move on to? Well, I haven't gone through the list. Of course, I feel it's only fair. <laughs> Cannibal, giant, flaming red. <laughs> Or whatever I called her. I don't remember what I called her. I have an interesting relationship with her. I think we hated each other like a week ago. But you don't anymore? No. Ah, thanks, mind. It was Sassy Red. <laughs> uh, no, not quite. I mean, honestly, though, like, I kind of blew up on her like three times or something like that. I mean, most of the time I'm right. And I'm honestly sure she would agree. 
because she tends to say that later because I am because <laughs> she just goes on these these like heroic judicator tangents like we have to do this for for reasons I'm like no that's a bad idea I shouldn't be the one saying let's calm down and think about it my job is to punch things <laughs> a problem with her trying to be heroic. Well, okay. Alright, don't make this a thing, lady. That's not what I mean. <laughs> Our problem is she just goes blind. And and she, she, she it's, it's driven by emotion, but she masks it with logic that's just wrong. <laughs> and if you don't, if you don't squint, you don't see it. And my worry is we follow something that someone says hyped on emotion that they masquerade as logic. And that's coming from the guy who just kind of punches things when he gets angry. Do you believe that that reasoning is the reason you get along well with your science friend? Logic? Thinking things through. I think the better way to think of it is, or the way I think about it is essentially, I mean, because I can't do it, I... <laughs> I value Why don't you people. think you can be logical? Well, I just have failed every time. A situation has come up, I just go off emotion. It's just how I'm wired. Go off the emotion the same way your... Confusion she quotes, sassy red does? <laughs> yeah. But Do you I'm pretty trained. That's I'm, why there's uh, contention there. I'm, yes, I was saying that until you interrupted me. <laughs> You're going to psychoanalyze me. I was going to say it myself. If because I can't do it, I'm hoping the people whose, whose job it is, they can do it, you know? I, I put my faith in them. Is that still my, my virtue? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> Let me check. Hell yeah. Sal just is. says in character. <laughs> no, that's still my virtue. Hell yeah. Anyways, I, I put my faith in them because I don't believe I fit that place. And I don't. And that's fine. I have no issue with that. It's just that I always believed she fit that space and I felt betrayed when I realized she did not. Was there anyone else you were wanting to talk about? Of course there is, lady. Come on. Stop asking. <laughs> I gotta finish the list of my team members. Who's she next? Does the motion of continue. I don't remember who's next. Was it the psychopath? I thought we already talked about him. Or was it... Oh yeah, I forgot about him. Henderson. <laughs> I want you to take a guess whose secret is it that I'm holding out of the people you've heard me talk about I want to see what you have to say why do you want me to do that I think it'd be fun is this a case in which I guess I don't receive an answer Simply for sake of it? Uh, did you say that again? Is this a... She's asking... So it's... Is this a case of I ask and don't receive an answer? Oh, no, I'll give you an answer. I'm not going to tell you what the secret is, obviously. But I just want to know if you could figure it out. If I'm transparent, it's a secret I have to hold. And I, if you can figure it out, or if you can't figure it out, I should say, that means I should have nothing to worry about. have two guesses. Either it is Henderson's or it is she quotes again sassy red. <laughs> <laughs> well you better pick one. Hmm, well then let's go down the line. 
and then uh, stick with Anderson. Okay. That was a good guess. What was the, what hinted you to that? You asked the question directly after bringing him up. Ah, that's fair. I guess it is the only defining feature he has. (laughs) 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 And then he roasted. Wait, I'm kidding. Wait, wait, he goes, he goes up. He says he's kidding after. I'm joking. So I wouldn't say that without saying he's kidding. Poor dude. Poor dude. You're trying to protect him, then. I mean, it's not really that. It's just like, it's not really my business. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. Basically, if I didn't want anyone knowing my dad left me, I would hope if someone found it out, they wouldn't just blab it to everyone. So you're respecting his personal space. Yes, well, I mean, it's not even, it's, normally I would be like, oh, you know, whatever. I mean, it's just, it has nothing to do with anything we're doing. I mean, I guess that's not quite true. And I guess, in some regard, it might be valuable information. (laughs) But, so there, I guess therein lies the issue of having this information. You don't know if it's relevant or not. Well, it's, I just, I don't know where the line is. I don't know how, I don't know if, I, that's, but the thing is, I guess it doesn't matter because if Aisha knows, and Hellings knows, then my bosses know, so I guess it doesn't matter. Then why keep it a secret? I have to message you, (laughs) Bree. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so, yeah, anyways, yeah, he, yeah, he's just like, yeah, I fucking, I don't know. Alright. Was there any other team members you felt you needed to speak about before we conclude? Sure, I covered everyone. Except Theo. Except I kind of did. I kind of skipped when I got to Crazy Boy. But you got, you know, you get the gist of him. And that guy literally, like, tortures people. So, that's good. And then we just moved past that one. Sure. I mean, I guess probably half the Guardians torture people. He already talked about, um, her not calling. (laughs) Hmm? Uh... I think he was asking about his relationship that said. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he so, just completely forgot to talk about Anderson still. I mean, it, if he doesn't talk about that, though, it's insightful about how he though, thinks about the uh, yelling. Because so. I feel like Inky deserves Henderson nonsense from Sal, <laughs> too. Everyone got some, and it's only fair. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to meta a bit. Because it'd be hilarious to just be like, well, that's it. <laughs> but <laughs> and it would be realistic. It's not It's not a character. Um, I guess she said it so there's anything else. And then Sal would be like, it's only fair that I cover everyone. I didn't cover him. I want to call him a dick, but I can't. Because his kid's dead. Then 
that you don't have a good relationship with him? Not at all. I wouldn't say so. He looks pretty down on me. He probably contributes to that whole self-worth changing every five minutes thing. That's not fair to blame him. I'm not I'm not blaming you on that part, I guess. It's my fault for reading it that way. But you know. He's still a dick sometimes. But I can't say that, because his kid's dead. And you know, his wife eats people. Do you think that the situation Wait a minute, I'm telling you people eat people and you don't know about any of this and you're totally like, oh, whatever. God. I'm not a guardian. <laughs> Meaning I will not be involved in your affair does not mean I don't have information, per se. Just making sure this isn't like... Okay, that's sure, whatever. Your experience, go on. Do you believe that... Someone's circumstance... Absolves them of their emotion? I didn't say that, I mean, like, he can't go and murder someone, but he gets a little bit of leniency. I mean, you got that thing that I know about, which if you knew about it, you'd be like, oh, damn, yeah. And then you got that, you know, his wife left him, kind of. Well, she loves him still, I think. I don't know how it works. Um, cannibal. And then his kid. I'm sure that's a mess. And then his other one's dead. Well, even worse, kind of came back from the dead. And then I killed, Tomo killed it. He wouldn't let me. I think I wanted to. <laughs> oh yeah, there's that one time I burned babies. We're not going to talk about that. Do you think that his situation is an exception for how he acts opposed to say, someone like your uh, other com uh, what's the word for it? Associate. No, I mean, uh, the one who is a, she quotes, psycho. Well, he doesn't do anything mean. He's not impolite. He's actually very polite. He has like rally speeches sometimes, too. I, like I said, the fact of him, he's not a bad person. That's what's scary. That's <laughs> what I don't understand. You're offset by his kindness? The fact that he was insane, and he tortured people, and he grew up in the woods, and then he's just nice and friendly now. Yes. Is that not, is that not weird? You don't believe he could have changed? I, I believe something changed. I feel like he snapped. <laughs> I feel like he just like makes like weird effigies in his room or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. I'm so sorry. No, this is great. I love this. I fucking I love this so much. <laughs> well, we'll have to bring it to a close for today. Is there any other final words you wanted to say? Yeah. Um, sorry <laughs> for being no, a dick. No um, need to apologize. Also, uh, I guess. I don't know. That's actually stupid. Never mind. No, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say like, ah, uh, like if, if you get if you get a secret, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> but hey, that's not gonna happen, um, which is understandable. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess I gave you a few tools to use. <laughs> I don't know how psychologists work. I won't be using any of this. Uh. This is simply. For you to speak and for someone else to hear. You know, I feel like I might as well just, like, no, no offense. Again, well, I mean, I guess I'll apologize for being a dick again later, but why don't I just talk to, like, a pillowcase? <laughs> that that occasionally, like, spits out questions. Because such a thing doesn't exist. Oh, it should. <laughs> <laughs> Be a damn good therapist. She, she stands up. I won't stop you from inventing a pillowcase that asks you questions, Sal. Yeah, well. For the time being. <laughs> I do have a couple uh, assignments for you, if you're 
willing to do them. Or... Oh, we'll see, depending on the assignments. I want you to write a letter, letter to your mother. Okay. Whether you send it or not is your choice. But I would like you to write one. Okay. I mean, why? It'll help you work through your thought process. Sure. I mean, I have no issue writing a letter to my mom, so I'm not going to fight you on that. And then, if you are feeling up to it, I would try and write one to your father as well. Sure. He's lying. <laughs> Roll. Nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, all six of those D10. <laughs> Well, you know what her dice pool is. We're just gonna pretend she got an eight. Uh, Wait, that's not how that works. No, <laughs> <laughs> she got an eight. <laughs> she got an eight. Okay. Nice. She doesn't say anything. She knows. Thank you very much for your time today. If you ever want to set up another appointment or talk, I'm always here. Okay. Thanks. That was... He looks at you. Pleasant. <laughs> I accidentally exit out of, exited out of roll 20 so I couldn't put it back. You literally just threw yourself into another room. <laughs> he does like a tumble roll. Hey, Sal has done therapy. That was long. I was gonna do a terribly meta joke and be like, yeah, we would, but then we would just cover the same things and that'd be no fun for sessions. <laughs> <laughs> also, why was Bastet in Lemons' room, or was she in my room? I couldn't tell because I dragged her back. Miss Bastet teleports. Okay. Now they have combined. Th thank you for letting us into Sal's brain. Yes. brain. Indeed. <laughs> Uh, and then next, no get out of there. next mm. session, we will move on to the others. I would like to point out the combined bird best at <laughs> perfect creation. <laughs> oh dear. I imagine yeah. Lemons will walk in there one day and the, the bird's head will just be best at's head. Well, I mean, he walked and it was after the whole hedge thing that he came in there and Bastet and Sara were just, I mean, chilling in his room. Sara, obviously, but Bastet was in there too. They're obviously love... supernatural creature buddies. Oh, Yeah, so now you know all of Sal's secrets. <laughs> which he doesn't have. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't I really did not want to give away. No, that's fine. I was like happy to be an asshole and tease it, but <laughs> I I I'm it is not my place to <laughs> squeeze that one out. <laughs> I think Iki's just waiting for it to get revealed. But I, yeah, I feel like that's a lame way to do it. I think it needs to happen in a yelling manner, like, Oh yeah, we're Henderson, blah blah. And everyone's like, wah! <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> that's right. Blah blah blah. I mean, I guess the, there's hints in there, I guess, if you think about it really hard, but it's hard to tell because I know what it is, so I can see yeah. how they connect. No, no, from our perspective, what I said could have been a dead giveaway. <laughs> Um, but I normally, no, without the context of it, I don't think so. What do you think, folks? <laughs> yeah, did you pick up on any secret hints? I know this is good shit. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the best hint is good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Wow, how many experience do I get for the shark? <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> did you I see in that. chat, Free? Oh, you, no. didn't, you didn't see? I actually... Yeah. That's what look I meant. What? Look at this guy's oh chat. <laughs> you get one. Hell yeah. That's, that's session EXP. It is oh my god. <laughs> get therapy, so. I love that you put the fucking alcohol bottle. <laughs> Should I be ending recording then?
Oh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. 